Well, the the um, Unifil force has already been drawn down a little bit. I mean, there are about 1,400 French troops as part of that force to try and keep Hezbollah away from the northern Israeli border. Uh, the, the, the rationalization is basically going to be, uh, yes, drawing down in Africa where possible, for example, Operation Sparrow in Chad, which is uh, a thousand troops. And, and the opening of a base, uh, obviously, in the United Arab Emirates as well. Right. And on this map I have from the, uh, from the uh, Defense Ministry about the current operation, there's also, interestingly, something, just to go back to the Ivory Coast, still something like the called Operation Likorn, with 900 people, which is... Which are under UN uh, um, uh, command. Right. We now see the uh, helicopters uh, we're reaching the closing portions uh, uh, of the parade um, and uh, various helicopter units. Laurent Inger, the um, uh, Bastille Day Parade, of course, the military parade, one of the French traditions, and we see the firemen there. They're involved in another tradition, which is very French, which is the firemen's balls. Yes, every 13th of July in the evening, the night preceding the military parade, the tradition is to organize bowls in, uh, in the barracks of uh, every fire brigade unit uh, throughout France. And they, they, they're actually and, and great, they, they're they, great fundraisers as well, by the they way. They are fundraisers, they organize balls, and they are also in charge of organizing fireworks for the, for the Bastille Day. Oh, we, we were wondering if there would be the uh, parachutist drop with the weather, and uh, rain or no rain, here they go. I see Laurent Inger that um, they are uh, carrying flags. Yes, they are carrying the flags of uh, the 13th African invited countries, as well as the flag of France and the flag of the European Union. Philip Crowler, are they? Uh, are are you, uh, are you with us? Yes, I am with you now. As you've noticed, we've had a few little sound problems, but you can probably see right behind me parachutists arriving. As we speak, exactly where we were expecting them to arrive, right in front of the view stand where the heads of state uh, still all are. Of course, uh, this will be very much to their liking because each parachute is carrying the flag of one of the African nations taking part in this uh, military parade uh, today, each one with a different flag. And, uh, of course, a fitting end, if you want, uh, for all of those heads of state in attendance in the view stand today. Of course, it's something that hasn't passed entirely uh, without controversy, the fact that all these uh, African nations have been invited to Bastille Day. Uh, after all, it doesn't happen every single year that uh, foreign nations are invited. And of course, with France's uh, colonial history, it wasn't the most obvious thing to do. And there has been quite a lot of criticism, but certainly a very spectacular end to proceedings here with the arrival, as you can see there. For example, right there, the Togolese flag arriving uh, right in front of uh, the view stand here on the Place de la Concorde, something that we don't see absolutely every year. The parachutists arriving uh, right in front of the heads of state. And I I think that's pretty much all of them arrived right in front of the heads of state to applause from all of them. And we're uh, in the closing minutes now of uh, the Bastille Day military parade here on France 24. Um, two hours we've been seeing on Paris's Champs Elysees. Uh, the uh, um, uh, troops marching, it began with the uh, uh, representatives of uh, African uh, former uh, French colonies celebrating their 50 years of independence this year. And it concludes with those parachutists bringing along with uh, representatives from each of those nations the flags that were, uh, uh, that came with the parachutists to the review stand. French President Nicolas Sarkozy um, saluting the various troops. They see, in the, they caught a glimpse there in the background of the First Lady, Carla Bruni Sarkozy. And uh, there are war veterans there in the crowd. Uh, veterans of, f these are former French soldiers yes. from the uh, African colonies. Most of those we spoke to yesterday, Laurent Inger, uh, Indochina, mm -hmm. and uh, the Algerian War of Independence. And the Second World War, yes. There are, uh, um, 
veterans who presumably now benefit from the change in the pensions scheme for, for former veterans. Announcement uh, made uh, in 2007 that uh, the pensions uh, which had been um, uh, frozen at their 1960 level uh, had uh, then had uh, now been uh, scaled uh, to uh, uh, to um, to their modern level. And yesterday, the French president. Uh, making the announcement at a lunch with the African heads of state that they, the, uh, these veterans, those that are surviving, of course, uh, will now all receive the same pension as f other French soldiers. And a ray of sunshine descends on the Place de la Concorde in, uh, at the bottom of Paris, the Champs-Élysées. You see the National Assembly in the background as the uh, French president wraps up and uh, walks away from the parade ground. Okay, well, Billy O'Catamary, I want to thank you for joining us from uh, sister station Radio France International, historian Laurent Eniguerre, Armin Georgian, and to our team out there, Philip Crowder and Cyril Vanier braving the rain. And thank you for being with us for France Vanquette's coverage of the Bastille Day military parade. Stay with us, much more to come right here on France Vanquette.